Previously in trigonometry, we've defined three special angles, namely the 30 degree, the 45 degree, and the 60 degree angles. Now, when using the Cartesian plane, we can define two more special angles, namely 0 degrees and 90 degrees. So why are these angles special? Now, of course, when looking at a triangle, we generally can't have a 0 degree angle or a 90 degree angle. Now that is of course because the three angles of a triangle are equal to a 180 degrees. So we can't have the right angle being 90. We generally can't have the um, both of the other angles either being 0 or 90 because if this angle was 0 we would of course just have a straight line. Or if this angle theta was 90 degrees these two sides would never reach. So that then says, of course, that we, we generally can't have a zero degree um, or one of the other angles in a triangle of a right angle triangle can't be zero or 90. But in the Cartesian plane, things get a little bit more interesting. So first, let's have a look at the zero degree uh, size for the angle theta. So imagine that we have our point O at the origin and then we have our point that goes out on the x-axis. So that's this point over here. Let's call that A. So generally speaking, our theta angle would be this angle between the line to point A and the positive x-axis. So in this case, our hypotenuse would be here. The adjacent side would be the side down the bottom. And then our opposite side would be this side on what would, in a normal scenario, would obviously be the opposite side. So what makes this interesting is the fact that our opposite side, our opposite is equals to zero. So then we can extend this to say that the, let's first write out our Sokoto mnemonic, just to refresh our our trig ratios. So we have our Sokoto. Then we can go and extend this definition for the sine of theta, which in this case is of course zero degrees. We can then say that the sine of theta is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So in this case opposite is zero. We don't need a value for the hypotenuse, so we can just say hypotenuse and the reason we don't need a value is because any fraction where the numerator is zero is of course zero. So we know that the sine of zero degrees is equals to zero. Then let's have a look at what happens when theta is 90 degrees. So of course in a normal triangle we couldn't do this but on the Cartesian plane things of course are a little bit different. So let's say that that is our point B, and theta is once again this point between our positive x-axis and our line that we've drawn down to the x-axis from point B. So the same scenario, we would have our hypotenuse over here, our opposite side would be this side, and then our adjacent side would be the side down the bottom. So what we can see in this case is that our adjacent is now equals to zero. So then we can extend this definition for the cosine of 90 degrees is then our adjacent side which is zero over our hypotenuse and of course if our numerator is zero that then says that our answer is zero. So the cosine of 90 degrees is then equals to zero. We can then extend this for the definition of tangent. So tangent we can then say the tangent of theta is equals to the sine of theta over the cosine of theta. So in the scenario where theta is equals to zero, we would then have tangent, let's not do that, we would then have the tangent of theta 
is equals to zero over the cosine of theta, right? So this is for zero degrees. So once again, we have a zero numerator. So the tangent of zero degrees is then equals to zero. And then we can then do the tangent of 90 degrees. Just try and find a spot here. Tangent of 90 degrees where we have defined that the cosine of 90 is equals to zero, we would then have, of course, the sine of 90 over the cosine of 90 degrees. We know that the cosine of 90 degrees is equals to zero, and any fraction where your denominator is equals to zero, where you're dividing by zero, your answer is then undefined. So let's see if we can find a spot on here where we can actually write some of these out. So then we know that our sine of zero degrees is equals to zero. We know that our cosine of 90 degrees is equal to zero. We know that our tangent of zero degrees is equals to zero. And that our tangent of 90 degrees is equal to an undefined value because you cannot divide by zero.